So we are told that a1 is equal to 1. So a1 is equal to 1. a n plus 1 is 2 times a n plus 5. So what is the value of a2? a2 will be equal to 2 plus 5. What is the value of a3? a3 will be equal to 2 times 2 plus 5 plus 5. This is equal to 2 square plus 2 times 5 plus 5. Or this is 2 square plus 3 times 5. We can actually simplify and calculate the value of a2. We can calculate the value of a3 and so on. But if you express it in some sort of a pattern, some sort of a series, then you will be easily able to guess what is the value of say a n. Next a4 will be equal to 2 times 2 square plus 3 into 5 plus 5. This is equal to 2 cube plus 2 times 3 is 6. So 6 into 5 plus 5. So this is 2 cube plus 7 into 5. Now some sort of a pattern should be apparent to you. If you are not sure then you can calculate the value of a of 5. a of 5 is equal to 2 times 2 cube plus 7 into 5 plus 5 which is equal to 2 to the power 4 plus what is 2 times 7 that is 14 into 5 plus 5. This is equal to 2 to the power 4 plus 15 into 5. If you are looking at the coefficients of 5, first you have 1, then you have 3, then you have 7, now you have 15. So clearly these are 1 less than a power of uh, 2. So the value of a of n is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1. Because the first term in a5 is 2 to the power 4, the first term in a4 is 2 cube, in a3 it is 2 square and so on, plus 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 into 5. This is basically the value of a of n. You can simplify this, you can expand the bracket. So this is 2 to the power n minus 1 plus 5 into 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 5, which is equal to 6 into 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 5. Now, if you substitute the value of n to be equal to 100, the value of a of 100 is equal to 6 into 2 to the power 99 minus 5. So, the correct answer is option D. For more cat level questions and detailed video solution, just go to Google and search Crack Your Cat Questions.